Yigal Karman, founder of Memory, thanks for joining us once again. Tell us your reaction to the appointment by President Trump of Governor Huckabee to be the U.S. ambassador to Israel. Thank you, Chris. Uh, I think that uh, President Trump, elect Trump, should be commented for his very wise choice, yet another wise choice for his administration. Uh, Governor Huckabee is uh, an expert on Israel and the uh, region in general, uh, but he is also, and maybe more importantly, a believer, a leader in faith. Uh, Israel and the Holy Land, the birthplace of Christianity, have been attacked by a vicious wave of violent Shiite Islamist uh, uh, groups uh, led by Iran, the Shiite uh, leader of extremist Islam, uh, and uh, they, are, they have usurped the leadership of Islam from uh, mainstream Sunni Islam, and it takes A, an expert, and B, a leader in faith to first understand the scope of the uh, attack and the conflict uh, in the region, and B, uh, a leader in faith to um, implement the vision of uh, President Trump of uh, no war but peace with mainstream uh, Sunni Islam. Yeah. When you saw that announcement, how did you feel? How did uh, you react? Well, I, I uh, hope returned to my thoughts because uh, before that, it was clear that the usurpers of Islam, of uh, the Shiites, are having it their way and that the administ American administration is seeking to appease them. And now, there is a new approach of uh, countering them, of deterring them, in order to establish peace, no war, between Israel and mainstream Sunni Islam. Why does confrontation or confronting them work as opposed to appeasement? Uh, the uh, Shiite uh, usurpers uh, are in a battle to take over. And uh, the moment there is a wall of strength uh, that stops them, uh, it works. The um, previous administration didn't even try that approach. They were only about uh, letting them uh, do, even when, <laughs> when there is something, okay, let them do an attack, we will defend you. All uh, American uh, controlled wars. This is no way, and they attacked us three times, uh, and this is mm -hmm. unacceptable. Yeah. Yeah. So it works once you show strength. It was peace goes with strength, not with appeasement, not with um, surrender. And, and your reaction to some of the other uh, appointments by President Trump, what are they? Well, um, I uh, believe that uh, Almost all of them, as far as I know, uh, the um, proposed uh, ambassador to the United Nations, uh, Ms. Stefanik, is uh, just fantastic. I mean, she knows, she stands for what is true and what is right and what is just. And she doesn't shy away from expressing it in a uh, fantastic delivery way. Uh, and uh, um, of course, uh, the uh, Secretary of uh, State, uh, Marco Weber, who has been tweeting and putting on his Instagram memories, material, uh, he understands the Arab and Muslim world. He knows exactly what needs to be fixed that went astray. And uh, the Secretary of Defense, who is a warrior, a fighter, who fights for America, who fights for Western civilization. Uh, and the, of course, the uh, prospected head of the CIA, who is an expert in, and knows all the inner uh, dirty tricks of Iran uh, and their Ayatollah's regime. It's all experts and fighters. Experts, number one, and fighters. Yeah. Igal Karman, great to be with you. Thanks for your 
insight and analysis into all these uh, major decisions by President Trump. Thank you. Thank you, Chris.